I want to tell you something. Raiden Shogun is coming. guys name is Ren. welcome to another genshin impact video so in this video we're going to take a look at kuju sara the full side character that will be featured along with raiden shogun in her banner uh, on the first banner of patch 2.1 so there are a lot of people that are um as excited for kuju sara as they are for raiden shogun i count to that kind of people and there are also a lot of people that overlook Kuju Sera because of Raiden Shogun. But yeah, in today's video, we want to take a look over her kit. Um, basically, the format of this video is again, should you summon for that character. But I feel like in patch 2.1, everyone will probably summon for Raiden Shogun and automatically will get the copy of Kuju Sera. So I will just go over her ability briefly. So, number one is auto attacks. Normally, as I always say, normal attacks are nothing special. She has a 5 hit combo. The charged attack does deal electrical damage, but she has a small gimmick included into her normal attack. When in the cow feather cove state, the fully charged arrow will leave a crow feather behind after it hits. So, maybe we can see it already. Um, I guess that they will explain crow feather cover state later on. Okay, so no, they don't show us. They basically just show the auto attack combo. She does seem very slow compared to other bow users. So she doesn't attack that smooth. If I'm just looking at the gif. And this is her charged auto attack. So maybe you want to find a little bit more over her next ability. Tengu Storm Call should be her E ability. So retreats rap rapidly with the speed of a Tengu. So basically she teleports from A to B. Which we can see... Um, here, summoning the protection of the crow feather gains crow feather cover for 18 seconds. So basically, immediately after you use E, you have this crow feather cover state for 18 seconds. 18 seconds is pretty long. And when Kuchu sacrifices a fully charged aim shot, crow feather cover will be consumed and will leave a crow feather at the target location. So basically, after you use your E, you will be able to summon that crow feather, which should be appear here right there but you have to use your e first otherwise it is just a normal charged auto attack so basically that allows you to fire your e wherever you want so if you compare that uh, to ganyu if you use your e the e will place on that point where you did cast or where again you did stand while with kuchu zero you just can use e you can teleport from a to b like you did uh, here and then you just can target or aim the E for yourself. Next part is Crow Feather will trigger Tengu Jurai Ambush. After a short time, dealing electro damage and granting the active character within AoE an attack bonus based on Kuchu Sarah's base attack. So, this is the attack buff that a lot of people are talking about. I just want to see again if this explodes, how many particles does it give? Free particles! Free particles is very good. I feel like free particles is really good. So, Basically, you use E. Oh, okay, maybe I just want to see one thing again. If E... Okay, so E on cast doesn't deal damage. It seems like that it doesn't... It just teleports. And then it gives you the Crow Feather Cover. Then you just can auto attack. And it will place the um, Crow Feather. And if that explodes, it will deal damage. So it doesn't deal damage right off the bat. Yeah, it doesn't deal damage right off the bat. So you just teleport, use your charged auto attack to place the e and if that explodes it does deal damage and it buffs the character that is active so how i assume you want to use that is you just use e use the charged auto attack and then you immediately swap to the character that you want to be buffed so because 
The attack bonuses from different Tengu Jirai will not stack and their effects and duration will be determined by the last Tengu Jirai to take effect. Alright, so... How I do understand this is that you only can have one active buff on one character and only one active buff from Kuju Serra. So meaning, for example, you use Kuju Serra and Raiden Shogun on the same team, you use her E, teleport, use charge auto attack, then you want to swap to Raiden Shogun before this explodes. It is very important that I guess you, I guess that it is very important that you swap your character before it explodes because as soon as this explodes, you will get the attack bonus on your active character. And if Kuju Serra is your active character, then she will be buffed. And if you swap like to, I don't know, if you swap like to Sucrose um, on, if you didn't do that on purpose and you swap to Sucrose, then Sucrose will also get that attack buff, but not Raiden Shogun if you're planning to give Raiden Shogun the attack buff. So yeah, I think, and I also think that this also happens, every, everything here happens very fast. It's like one, two, it's like just a little bit than one, more than one second. One, two, yeah, I would say that's like a little more than one second. You have a little bit more than one second to swap to character. So, so I guess that's also what they're doing here. So Bam immediately swap to the Traveler so that he gets the attack buff and he runs to the crowd feather because you want to be in that AOE. The AOE is not that big. So you only get the attack buff if you're in that AOE, as you can see here. So if you would stand here, I guess you won't get the attack buff. So you have to run towards to the cover to receive your attack buff. Now, let's take a look at her elemental burst. Uh, what is the name? Subjugation Kukusendu. Okay, cast down Tengu Jurai Titan Breaker, dealing AoE Electro damage. So basically dealing Electro AoE damage. Otherwise, Tengu Jurai Titan Breaker spreads out into four consecutive bouts of Tengu Jurai Storm Cluster, dealing AoE Electro damage. Okay. One and then four. All right. Okay. So that ability should deal. Oh, it, I think that this ability should deal quite a lot of damage because mostly I think that these are without artifacts and here it also it already deals like four thousand damage and then it explodes. I really like this ability. Now what does it do else? Tengu Jurai Tidebreaker and Tengu Jurai Storm Cluster can provide the active character within their AoE with the same attack bonus as given by the elemental skill Tengu Storm Call. Alright, the attack bonuses from different Tengu Dry will not stack. So, okay, the, the first thing that I want to mention here is that you cannot use E and Q as an attack buff for one character, so they won't stack. You only can have either the attack buff from your elemental burst or the attack buff of the E ability because they count as the same attack buff. That's at least what I do understand. So if I'm wrong here, definitely correct me in the comments. But what from uh, reading this, I do understand that if you use your E and get the attack buff, and then you use your elemental burst, the attack buff won't be active. Um, the, the attack buff from the elemental burst won't be active on your active character. Now, I just want to understand how the attack buff works for the elemental burst. So Tango Droid Type Breaker and Tengu Jurai Storm Cluster can provide the active character within their AoE with the same attack bonus as given by the elemental skill. So, okay, so the AoE for the elemental burst is a little bit uh, larger, but it is not as clear. So I guess that if you just use your elemental burst, you should immediately swap into another character because the duration of the elemental burst this is like just one till two seconds. So you use Q and then you want to immediately swap to another character and stand within that AOE of this um, of this uh, area because of the elemental burst. So you would get the attack buff. I think that that is how it is meant. And yeah, I feel like that using E is a little bit easier. So it seems like that Kuju Serra is not dealing too much damage besides her elemental burst so it is now very important to know how the energy codes of her is and how she does generate elemental particles because i feel like this ability shouldn't deal too much damage it is basically to get the attack buff to generate elemental particles but i feel like this will deal a lot of damage and also can provide an attack buff so the character will be very useful in general because it can attack um attack buff and we only have one character that can buff attack directly currently in the game, which is Bennett. So, 
But just from a kid, I would say that she doesn't work like a Electro Bennett at all. Bennett, like, Bennett can give a lot of elemental bodyguards. He has very low cooldowns on his ability and he also can heal, which Kuju Serra can't. So Kuju Serra provides like more a sub DPS kind of character. Giving three particles, so I think your playstyle will be very different. Um, we still have to figure that out, but um, it seems like that her elemental burst is her strongest ability. But in general, you want to especially make use of the attack buff for your other characters. That's what I'm seeing here, at least for the moment. So if you have any other ideas, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, we do not have anything else revealed besides for the story. And yeah. Definitely make sure to tune in on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Gaming because on the day Kuchu Sora and Rain Children release, I will stream and you can see me testing those characters live. And yes, like, comment, and subscribe would help me out a lot. And I see you guys next time. Bye.